Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today because I'm heading up to Kettering for the Practical Astronomy Show. And I know there's gonna be lots of uh, astrophotographers there who I know, and I can't wait to meet some of them. It's an absolutely glorious day. Sun's just coming up. Um, I've got a bit of a two hour drive ahead of me, um, so I better get going. But I thought I'd bring you guys along to show you what the show is all about. Okay, so that drive took about two hours, but I have just arrived here at the Practical Astronomy Show, and it looks very busy. There's quite a long queue outside, and I'm in the overflow car park over the other side of the conference centre. So quite excited to, to go in and see what it's all about. So I've just bumped into Glenn from Astro Blake. You all know Glenn. We've worked together before. Um, hopefully we're going to work together. Yeah, well, soon. you know, those A-pods need filling up. <laughs> you know, we've got to do another one. Um, so if you haven't checked out Glenn's channel, make sure you do. But I'm sure you're all following him anyway. Um, got two questions for you. Right. So first, are you going to buy anything here today? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm in the market for uh, an automatic focuser. I normally use the ZWOs, but um, they don't seem to have any here. So or I know Pegasus Focus Q, but I'm, I'm not sure. And then there's a Sesto Senso. Uh, okay. So I'm looking at that, I'm, I'm just mulling it over. But I more likely will leave with a focuser by today. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And then my second question yeah. if you could take anything away free of charge from this room, what would you take? Okay, I've got a toss up now. Okay. I, I really like there's a sort of an old astrophysics star wave 160. Yeah, I see which, you shaking that out. Yeah, that, yeah. that sit very nicely on my EQ8. Uh, and then there's a, a rather dinky uh, Rasa 11. <laughs> the <yeah>? 11. <laughs> Just six that looks and a half like that's a big scope, but something, yeah, I mean, that would be nice, but no, I, I'm going to have to behave myself today. I've spent too much. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice to see you again, Russell. Take care, mate. Okay, so I'm here with Simon from, from Simon's Astro. Um, I even got a uh, a business card, which is pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> That's Glenn, by the way, who's surprised by his business card. Um, so check out Simon's channel if you haven't already. Um, but Simon, how, how are you finding it today? Yeah, lovely, mate. Never been to one of these before. It's nice to meet all these astro photographers here. Yeah, myself included. Yes, but well, it's great to meet, great to meet you. Um, I'm, I'm asking everyone two questions. So the first question is, are you in the market for anything, and are you going to be buying anything today? If I can find the right 
400 mil scope. I might just buy one. I'm going to have a look around and see what's here. Okay. The Ascars over there look quite nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did have a picture of those. Very nice. Would you recommend those? Yeah. Okay. And then my second question is if you could take anything away free of charge, what would it be? Well, I have to say I quite like the look of the um, same scope blend likes. The, uh, that's the Physics 160 over there. Okay. I think it's about 12 grand for the kit. So yeah, you want the not, mountain as well, I, Of course. <laughs> I know that I'll be buying that today. Okay. Awesome. Well, yeah, it's great. Thanks for, thanks for taking the time. Me, mate. Cheers. <laughs>
what would you take? So there's a guy over there called Outsideology, and he does like amazing observatories. And I'd just be like, yeah, man, just come and build me an observatory in my back garden. Okay, they roll up roof ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah they look nice. amazing, and I know they're really, really, really expensive. So I had my my answer to that question would be one of those on the pulse there, yeah, though, yeah. at the beginning. Yeah, it should be cool. Yeah, that would be cool as well. They look a li- little bit like a bottle bag, though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. No worries. And uh, check out Stacy's channel. <laughs>Okay, so I've just got home from the Practical Astronomy show in Kettering and it was absolutely fantastic to meet so many people. Um, I thought I'd quickly answer the same questions that I asked all of the other YouTubers. Um, So did I buy anything? Yes, I bought this uh, counterweight. So this was my only purchase of the show. So my scope at the moment is very left-hand side heavy. I have the ASI Air mounted that side. I have the EAF as well. So I bought this tiny little counterweight to screw on the other side to try and help balance that up. So that was my only purchase, unfortunately, no new telescope or um, any exciting items. If I could take one thing away, I think I agree with Stace at the end there, I think I would have taken one of those roll-off roof observatories, either that or the pulsar domes that were right at the front of the show. So I'd love to have an observatory in the garden, I'd love to um, have my, my gear permanently set up to stop me having to carry it in and out every night but um yeah they were they were very expensive the uh the custom built ones but they did look absolutely amazing um but yeah the the show was was brilliant i hope you enjoyed this this short video it was great to meet so many people and thanks again to uh luke to glenn simon stacy and mark for agreeing to do that short little clip for me i do really appreciate it make sure you check out their channels if you haven't already but yeah thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions uh, leave them in the comments below and i will see you in the next video